Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Louise, your mommy tutor. So today, I will be discussing another ways on how to find the slope of a given equation. And at the same time, it's y-intercept. Last time, I discussed about finding the slope if two points are given. So this time, the one that I'll be discussing is how to find the slope if an equation is given. Okay, so equation naman. But of course, before we solve or we find the slope and the y-intercept of the given equation, we need to know also what are the different kinds of equation or the formulas. So here are the equations of a line. Actually, I will just be discussing or giving you the first three formulas or equations of a line, which is the first one is the slope-intercept formula, wherein y is equal to mx plus b. So y is equal to mx plus b. The m here is the slope. Okay? And the b here is the y intercept intercept so if you have an equation and it is not written in this form like it is written in the standard form this is the standard form this is the usual equation that we see it's ax plus by is equal to c wherein the a here and the b here are all coefficient or numbers and then the x and y is equal to c c is the constant. So, if we have this kind of equation, you can rewrite it in this form. And you have to take note also that writing it in this form, y is equal to mx plus b, you have to take note that the y should be alone. So, kailangan yung y nag-iisa lang. Walang kasamang number. If there is a number, then you have to eliminate it. Okay? It sh y should always be alone. Another one, Another formula is the point-slope formula. When we say point-slope formula, the given are the slope, the slope, and then another one is given the, there's one coordinate given. So point-slope formula is with the slope, and we have the x and y. Okay, and this x and y, etong x and y na to, we are going to substitute it from the y and the x. The one with the y sub 1 and x sub 1. Okay, and then after, after that, you can write it or you can write it in this form. It depends on what is being asked. Sometimes, inaasked lang that you have to write the equation if we have the slope and the coordinate you write it in just this form the point slope formula or sometimes given this you are asked to find or write it in the equation slope intercept formula or in standard form so it depends okay so it depends on what is being asked but of course all you need to do is you need to know these three kinds of formulas okay so now let us start answering this given so we are going to find the slope and the y-intercept so just like what we said a while ago we have to look at the given equation so tingnan natin kung ano given equation so this given equation is in the form point slope uh, I'm sorry, it's not point slope. It's the slope-intercept form. Okay, slope-intercept form, why? Because this one is in the equation, y is equal to mx plus b. And, we tell, and a while ago, I told you that m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So, dito, it's easier for us to identify if what is the slope and the y-intercept because it's already in the form y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so the slope here will be the one beside the x. So, laging katabi ng x. 
it's always beside the x so what is the slope here this one is the slope the m and where's the b so we say that it should be plus b here so this one is the b but you have to take note you have to take note class so this one is plus but this one is minus so what are we going to do if we are to change this in the plus form like this this becomes plus and this is negative 4 because negative times positive or positive positive times negative the final sign will be negative so what is the value of b here let's write here first m is 3 and b is equal to negative 4 okay so kapag nagpalit if the sign changes from positive it became negative here from the from the equation ibig sabihin the b is negative okay because if the b here is positive it will not change anything okay the sign will not change but since nag change nga yung sign ibig sabihin the b here is negative okay so that's how we find it now what about this second equation 2y is equal to 3x less 4 so how are we going to do that we need to write the equation in the form y is equal to mx okay so this one is 2y is equal to 3x less 4 just like what i have told you kanina kailangan the y should be alone so kailangan y is alone here but since yung y here is not alone what are we going to do we have to eliminate the two so how are we going to do that so doing that well let's rewrite it here 2y is equal to 3x less 4 to eliminate the two we have to divide everything by two by two so this becomes y is equal to 3x Two less 4 over 2 which is also equal to 3x minus 2 okay so this will be the equation of the line so again we have to look at the m and the b so, saan ang M at saka saan ang B dito? So, this will be the M and this will be the B. The slope and the y-intercept. We said that the slope is always beside the x. Okay? So, from this one, ang slope natin will be 3 halves. It's a fraction. And our B or the y-intercept is again naging minus 2 siya so it will become negative 2 okay so this one if we rewrite it in the form ymx plus b ang ating magiging equation will be y is equal to 3 halves x minus 2 another same as this one pero what can you say about this one? This is written in the form, standard form. Why standard form? Okay, why is it in standard form? It's because the y and the x, they are together. And the c or the constant is outside. So again, if it's written in, in standard form, we have to rewrite it in the form ymx plus b. Okay, into the into the slope intercept formula so how are we going to do that so the first thing na dapat natin gawin the first thing that we need to do here is of course we have to transpose this whole thing to the other side we have to write it in a way that y should be on the other side or alone only so doing that we have to rewrite this as 3y is equal to transposing the negative 2x to the other side so when when it's negative or minus the uh, opposite sign when transposing it to the other side it will become positive so magiging positive siya so from negative 2x magiging positive 2x minus 3 okay now 
3y is equal to 2x minus 3. That's the new equation. But then again, pag tinignan mo, that there's a 3 beside y. So, we need to, we have to eliminate the 3 by dividing everything by 3 again. So, doing that, we will have a new equation. y is equal to 2 over 3 x minus 3 over 3. Or, since nakita mo na 3 over 3, it's a fraction wherein its numerator and denominator is the same, so meaning it's equal to 1. So, we can rewrite this again as y is equal to 2 third x minus 1. Now, it's already in the formula or equation y is equal to mx plus b. So, nasaan ang m? Again, ito yung m natin. And this will be the b. So, as you can see, it's not plus b minus ulit yun. So, the slope will be 2 thirds and the b will be negative 1. One. Okay? So, that's how we get the slope and the y-intercept of a line given an equation. Okay, now, if we already know how to find the slope and the y-intercept or the b of the given equation, now let us write an equation given the slope and the y-intercept. So, how are we going to write an equation if a slope is given and the y-intercept or the b is given? So, the first thing that you need to do is you have to know and you have to remember that when we are writing this or when we are writing an equation with this one, we always write it in the equation y is equal to mx plus b most of the time. Yan ang gagamitin. This will be the formula that we will be using. Okay? And then after that, you are going to substitute whatever be the value of M and the B given. So from this one, let's write here Y is equal to MX plus B. What is the value of M? M here is negative 2 thirds. So write lang natin dito. Negative 2 thirds. And then, you just copy the x. And then, plus, what is the value of b here? b here is 4. So, we have to write 4. Then, rewriting here, y. So, the equation of this one will be y is equal to 2 third x plus 4. So, this will be the equation of the line. Next, what if we have this? So, again, gaya ng sabi ko kanina, you just have to substitute the value of m and b given here to this equation. So, what is the value of m here or the slope? It's 4. And then, just copy the x. Plus, what is the b here? It's negative 2. It's equal to y. So, as you can see here, we have two signs. Positive, negative. So, we have to simplify that. So, how are we going to simplify this? Negative, positive sign. The final sign will always be negative. So, rewriting this, y is equal to 4x minus 2. So, this will be the equation of this given slope and y-intercept form. So, that's how we write. Equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept form and also how to find the slope and y-intercept form of a given equation. So, don't forget, if we are to find the slope and the y-intercept of a line in a given equation, you always write it in a slope-intercept formula. Okay? If it's not written in a slope-intercept formula, you have to write it that way by isolating the y. Always isolate the y and the y should always be 
alone. Ibig sabihin, dapat walang kasamang kahit anong number or kahit anong sign yung Y. Kailangan Y should be alone. Okay? And then, the other, the other numbers, kung ano man yung katabi ng Y na yan, you have to put it on the other side. Okay? Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you learned something again. Bye!